the webinar takes five minutes I'll show you how to do that we send an email takes five minutes to write an email and best of all they do the speaking they do the selling and they do the product delivery so I don't have to work with any of their customers I don't have to sell to their customers and I don't have to deliver any products or service we have this all automated I have one billing person who manages five companies for me now and guys I don't have to be in my business anymore I don't have to be the webinar guru you know it's a solid business model because I'm financially free I can manage those businesses in two hours a week okay how many of these can you do if your job is just to set up a webinar, record it, automate it, help the, the, the expert get their information online and leverage it, how many of those can you do? Here's an interesting story. The first one I ever did was with Sean Allison, a guy from Perth. He paid me 25 grand to coach him. He just wanted out of his job. He was working as a former accountant. Uh, he worked in the Perth court system and he was doing options trading in his spare time quite proficiently he wanted more money so he could trade out of his account uh, more money because he's making about five percent a month from his options account so he wanted this is an interesting story the first one I ever did was with Sean Allison a guy from Perth he paid me 25 grand to coach him he just wanted out of his job he was working as a former accountant uh, he worked in the Perth court system and he was doing options trading in his spare time quite proficiently he wanted more money so he could trade out of his account uh, more money because he's making about five percent a month from his options account so he wanted to generate more cash flow to, to invest more to make more right here's what we did we turned his knowledge into a product 184 grand in the first year 530 the second year and a million dollars in the, th the third year 2014 so far right from a standing start okay and you know, we created a brand new company together, a 50% share, and this is an amazing business model, an amazing business partner who does all of the work with the customers, does all the selling, and is happy to give me 50% because he doesn't want to get involved in the technical side of internet internet marketing. February this year, he sends me a, an email. After the, I was on another webinar with another business partner. We made $6,000. Sean emails me. He's on another webinar. And he's, this is what he was doing. 13 people, 8 sales at $10,000 each and a total of 80000 in 90 minutes. And a further 4 sales from the replay, twenty grand in 90 minutes. Okay, absolutely amazing uh, you know, content. And uh, this is what he did 3 weeks ago. The same webinar again. 17 people, 9 sales, $10,000, 90,000 in 90 minutes. Now, how do you sell something for $10,000, guys? Basically, what you do is ask your audience, ask your customers what they want, put it together on a webinar and offer it. Now, Sean is offering a two-hour webinar every week for $10,000 a year. Now, he's helping his customers make a lot more than that, which is how it should be. Right? If someone's paying you money for something, you should be giving them 10 times the value than they're, getting, than they're, than they're paying for. And that's what I teach all of my experts to do. Now, Scott says, um, uh, what about me who has no real talent that people would pay for? Scott, great question. Find someone like Sean who isn't doing webinars and you can set this up for them and make money. 50% is what I charge. This is the letter he sent me last week when I was at the Sheraton while we were making money for Phil Dembon, who you saw earlier, $7,500, Sean passed me this note that he wrote on a Sheraton hotel thing. 12 people on a 10-minute webinar, $1,497, seven sales, that's $10,479, all money received on that webinar. Guys, what are we offering here? What is he offering? He's simply offering more training, advanced knowledge, you know, done for you services. Um, you can offer all sorts of stuff. I'll show you now what it looks like. So here's my medical center, guys. My own business makes anything from uh, up to 10, on average, $50,000. 40,000 from Sean's on average, 45 from Karina's, 4,000 from Anthony's, and 7,000 from the video marketing one. So I generate an average of $146,000 from five webinar businesses. Guys, this is true wealth creation. Forget about real estate to build your wealth. Build your wealth using this method and buy any property you want with just one check. If it's so good, why are you here? Why do you still teach? People say that to me. Why are you still on a live webinar training people right now if you don't need to be? Well, number one, I don't need to be in all honesty, but the bottom line is webinars have taken off. And when I started them, no one heard about it and I'm cashing in. I mean, I am making so much money from webinars and I'm helping so many experts make money from webinars and I want to help you as well. And I'm looking for more people to partner with and join in my medical center model. All right. I can't help every single expert that's out there but you can 
You can help 10 of them yourself. So why not? Here's the answer. Find experts and set this up for them. Now, if you look at your handouts, fill in the blanks. Find experts and set this up for them. There's experts out there right now that will give you 50% of their company to set this up for them. Help them create a webinar presentation. Now, when you do a webinar presentation, you want it to give great information, lots of content, lots of case studies to prove what they can do, and also you want to teach in three, five, or seven steps. Okay? Sell their product or service at the end. Make sure they offer something at the end. Too many people do a great webinar, they do all this great rapport building, they deliver awesome value, and then they don't offer something. And we know from webinar statistics that 10% of people on your webinar want to go further, faster with you, meaning they want to buy something from you. So if you don't offer something at the end of your webinar, the customers are going to go somewhere else. They're going to buy from somewhere else. If you're not sure what to offer, ask them, right? But most experts, here's what they sell. Most experts offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching, they offer a group session, or they offer a done-for-you service. They're pretty much the three business models. They can have a physical product as well in that. If you've got a physical product, you could offer that as well, DVDs, CDs, excuse me, or something else, a physical product in whatever business you are in. So offer a one-on-one, -on -one, a group work, or a done for you. That's what you can pretty much uh, offer. Okay, so guys, fill in right now. Go to your workbooks, your handouts, and if you didn't get them, uh, I'll, I'll paste it right now into the uh, into the chat box for you. If you didn't get your handouts, go to this website here, and you can get your handouts and fill in for me the uh, who is in your medical center, who you could be doing this for right now and making 50% for. Now, if you're an expert, great. Set this up for yourself first. Set this up for yourself and then go and find another expert that you can set it up for and you can make 50% of their cash flow. And I'm going to do this for someone right now on this webinar in just a moment. So stick with me here. So would you guys like the biggest secret of all? Just uh, type in yes if you'd like the biggest secret of all. Just type, get, do, do me a big yes. So hell yeah or yes, absolutely. Friends, Spico, Andrew, Grace, thank you very much. Fabian, John, Fred, Claire, Daniel, Phil, awesome. Marilyn, yes, absolutely, absolutely. So here's the big secret, all right? You ready for it? You don't have to be good looking to make big money with webinars. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? No one needs to see you if you don't want them to. Now, if you want people to see you, if you're doing a webinar where people need to see you, um, then fantastic. You can absolutely uh, show your face if you want to, but I've got a head for webinars, PowerPoint only. Okay, I'm just playing around, guys. You'll make big money faster if you let me train you. So would you, would you guys like me to train you really quick? on how to do this. Would you like me to train you? Just type in yes if you'd like me to train you really quickly. Type in yes into the questions box. Dennis says, uh, absolutely yes. Uh, good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Andrew, thank you, Phil, everyone. All right, let's do this right now. Let's do this. Let's demonstrate with someone on the webinar right now. So please type in what knowledge or expertise or product you have right now. Type it in on the webinar here and uh, and I need you to have a headset. I need you to have a headset as well and I'm going to open up the line for you. So uh, Jack says dog food finance broker, no headset. Sorry Scott, we can't do it if you don't have a headset. Uh, Fabian says I'm an accountant, fantastic Fabian. Uh, business cost efficiency, Dennis, productivity, good, excellent. Uh, yes, says uh, Leon, general practitioner, personal training, uh, business advisory services, fantastic 3D drafting. Wow, some amazing stuff here, building awesome stuff, guys. Excellent, beautiful stuff. What I'm going to do is um, everyone's time poor these days and I'm getting a lot of complaints from people on my database that they don't have enough time in the day to do everything. So, Dennis, you've got the, uh, you've got the honors here. Let me just... Uh, Un, uh, unmute you, Dennis. Now make sure your headset's on um, and uh, please turn down your radio as well. Oops, I've unmuted David. Sorry, David, instead of Dennis there. Dennis, there you are. I'm just unmuting you now, Dennis. And can you hear me? Come in over, Dennis. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, can you talk a bit louder and get closer to the microphone, please? How's that? That's a lot better. Thank you. Just scream for me so everyone can hear you, right? So, uh, Dennis, just no. to confirm that. We didn't meet before this. Um, I've no prior. And I don't think I've ever met. Have I ever met you, Dennis? Have we ever met? I think I may have met you over um, at the Andrew and Daryl forum in Queensland. Okay, we met. Oh, okay, we met briefly, but we didn't pre-plan this, right? This wasn't planned. No. 
Okay, excellent, excellent. So uh, basically what I'll do now is uh, just delete this. Okay, so tell me, fill in the blanks for me here. Tell me, what's the headline of your talk? You're a product business cost efficiency and productivity expert. What is the headline here? What's the big promise that we're going to make to people who come to your webinar? Um, just a bit louder if you can, mate. It's okay. I was, I was actually just uh, reading the, the comment. Okay. Essentially what I do is help people find hidden um, uh, time and resource wasters in their business. So, Yep, resources. To do what? Why? Why would they want to do that? What happens as a result of that? Uh, yep, so they stop doing wasteful activities with their time and devote that time to value added. And what does that mean? And what does that give them? It means that they can um, uh, sell more quality yep. product. And, and that... And, and, yeah, and, and, and exactly. Generate more money, right? Now, if I had time, I would actually spend time with you working on um, uh, creating a marketing hook that's more specific, but that's a good working title for now. And how many steps do you do? Um, it varies depending on the, on, the, on the business, but essentially I... Um, three, five, or seven. Person. Just tell me three, five, or uh, seven for now. Uh, let's, let's, say, let's say seven. Okay, seven steps. Fantastic, right? So we've got seven steps there. Now tell us who... Do you have a headset you can plug in there? Because I can hear some feedback. Um, Sorry, I'll just bring that a bit closer. Um, okay, no worries. Better? Yeah, but the feedback's coming out of your computer speakers. So can you turn down the computer speakers a little bit? Uh, I haven't got computer speakers on. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, we're going to have to pick someone with headset because the echo's coming back. Yeah, it's really, really bad, yeah. So, my apologies there. Well, we'll get someone else, guys. Uh, we need someone with a headset, guys. That's why I said you need a headset. Uh, my apologies, Dennis, there, but uh, grab a headset. So, someone else who uh, type in again if you've got a headset and your knowledge for me, please. Just type that in again into the uh, questions box there, and we'll quickly demonstrate this and get someone to actually run through this process with me real quick. So, just type it in. Business development, Ada. Okay, there you go. Ada, all right. Thank you very much. First in, best dress. There you are. Okay, unmute. All right. So, Ada, can you hear me? Hello, Ada. Come in. Over. Breaker, breaker. Yes, hello. All right. How clear is that? It sounds like you're next door. <laughs> Welcome to awesome. the webinar. Excellent, mate. So, uh, just quickly here, we're running out of time, but I just want to quickly put this process together so people can see it. Give us, fill in the blanks for me here. What are you going to show people on your webinar? Okay. How they can improve their business. Yeah. So, maximize their profits, basically. Okay. Uh, so, how you can maximize profits thanks to what system? Or increase increase their profit margins by way of reducing their cost or just spending um, their, um, well, the purchases they make, whatever they spend in their business, just doing a little bit more wisely by consolidating that spend and putting contracts in place with their suppliers, basically. Okay, beautiful, excellent. And uh, three, five or seven steps? Um, just make it up for now, just make yeah, it up. <laughs> it can be done five. Good. Let's do five. Make it easier. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, just quickly, the first thing that comes to your mind, who is this webinar for? Tell me the different sorts of businesses or people that you could help. Uh, I would like to target small to medium. I currently work with large corporations, but I prefer to target small. Now, tell me, tell me the problems that those... Because it's harder for... Good, good, good. Tell me the problems that those small business owners have that you work with. SMS. Yeah, I'm losing your audio. With them? Can you hear me okay? I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, yeah, your internet's... I can hear you. Can you yeah, hear good. Me? Yeah, yeah, your internet's a little bit bad, yeah. but that's okay. So, s small business owners, tell me tell me about some of their problems. Um, is that because they're small business owners, they'd have one person that would sort of, or a couple of people, basically, do in purchasing, so they really can't get sophisticated procurement type um, practices and a lot of those are, they own the business, they operate the business, they have expertise in the field that they're working in but they don't have expertise in the functions and the efficiency um, side of um, 
basically increasing that profit and, and consolidating that spend and, and really reducing that bottom line. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, so and what else? To, they what tend else? to pay, they tend to pay a lot more for the goods and services and large commercial. So one model is that they don't have a large spend that a large corporation would have. Yeah. But this is where you can assist by if you have several small small to mediums, you can consolidate the spend across all of those and yeah. give them back the benefit of that. Yep, yep, yep. Don't have a large spend um, yeah, 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 on purchasing. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. And uh, what led you to this webinar? Without going into your life story, just tell us how you quickly led to what you're doing now, which is teaching these uh, small business owners how to do this. Um, well, see, for me, I've been trying to get out of a nine to five. So, and I'm always on the lookout of how I can um, set up a business but at the same time keep my day job until such time that I can have some um, income without the nine to five or reduce my hours at work and have and continue to work on a business that yep. will and are you doing, give me the income. Are you doing this right now? Are you, are, you, to work. are you doing this full time now or are you working a job? I do this. Yeah, no. Well, I do it in a job. This is what I mean. I do it okay. for large corporations. Okay, I'm doing beautiful. It for local government at the moment. And beautiful. I'd like beautiful. To be able to do it for. Yeah. Worked for government. Okay, good, excellent. Worked for government, doing this stuff. I know what I'm. So that's that's credibility, right? That's credibility. You're doing this stuff, and uh, then you found a passion to do it for small business owners who struggle, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, so obviously, guys, I would spend a little bit more time on that as well. Then we show some proof. Okay, so we would go into this and we would say, okay, here's some proof of what uh, Ada has done. Uh, here's a screenshot of her. You know, here's a here's a testimonial. If you don't have any testimonials, you put in some statistics there, and then we get into the three, five, or seven steps to uh, to the presentation. So what's the what's the step number one, Ada? What do they need to do first? We would look at their current process, so look at their current spend and how they're um, managing that spend, so what's the total spend, look at potentially benchmarking what that spend is in different okay, areas okay. Not, to what uh, yeah, just market step two. rate is. We'll get to that, we'll get to okay. that, step two. Uh -huh. uh, benchmark against um, ma um, other markets or okay. similar markets. Okay, benchmark. Okay, next. And then look at that oppor lost opportunity. So see where the gap is. Oh, Whoa. Sorry, my dog's in. Jeez, what do you got there? A German Shepherd or something? <laughs> All right, no one's going to steal any stock um, from you. <laughs> no, it's a bit of a mix. All right, so no. uh, so we go through those, okay? And then we'll get you to elaborate on that more later. Now we go to the to the close right now. Do you have a product or a service that you offer? Do you have a Do you have a physical product? Um, no, not a physical product. This is okay. more like a professional service. Let's turn it into an information product right now. What would you name the uh, What would you name the uh, program? Um, wow, I name it um, business efficiency. I don't know procurement. Business Efficiency services? Mastery Program. I love it. Whatever you okay. say, guys. You put the word <laughs> mastery program after it. I can't spell efficiency. <laughs> um, okay, business efficiency mastery program. You're going to get step by step uh, yeah. instructions no, you've got it. on this. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, what would be in module number one? What would what would you cover in module one? It can be the same as the steps, but now we're actually going to be selling this at the end of your webinar. This could be a 30 minutes on each or 60 minutes on each topic. Tell me what you would cover on uh, on webinar one. Um, okay, the governance and principles of procurement, so doing like an overview, a health check of the organization maybe. Okay, overview. good. Module 2. Module 2. Um, it'd be health check. Yeah, look at the, uh, do a health check of the current. Um, yeah, module 3. Business, uh, or, uh, business spend. Um, uh, find opportunities. So, so then we start to look at the where the opportunities are. 
Okay, good. Okay, that's enough for now. You get the point, guys. Anyone who's written a book, you just put the chapters here. Okay, and then we throw in there some uh, some extra support, some bonuses if you want to. If not, you just delete them, and then you go to the end. And how much do you want to sell this? If you were selling it as an eight-week webinar series, so people come to your first webinar for free, Ada, and then they buy the other eight webinars from you, which takes them through step by step each week, and you give them some homework at the end of each module. You record it, you send them a replay, and then you've automated your product. How much would you want to sell that for? Do you reckon two ninety-seven is a good start if you could sell it for two ninety-seven? Uh huh. Okay. Would you be happy with that? Yeah. Happy with that. Two ninety seven, four ninety seven, nine ninety seven. How much you want? It has to end in seven because that's a good luck number. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's make it. Yeah, four ninety seven. Four ninety seven. Now, guys, weeks? when you're testing, yeah. when you're testing a webinar, two ninety seven and four ninety seven are the best prices to test. Okay, best prices to test. All right. So now what we're going to do, Ada, is we've got a bit of a delay there, and I appreciate you uh, working with the technology here. Um, basically, what we want to do is I want you to present this webinar. I'll talk you.